Hey there, and welcome back to Tim Talks Cooking. Today, we are talking keto breakfast burritos, my friend. You heard me right, keto breakfast burritos. I think you're really gonna like this recipe. I'm gonna make it with some pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna make it really quick. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients I'm gonna to use to make these delicious breakfast burritos for two people. Starts off with four large eggs. You're also going to need four low-carb tortillas. A link to my recipe for this will appear on the screen here. You're also going to want some kind of extra protein. You could use sausage. Here I'm using taco filling I made with ground seitan. Recipe link will appear on the screen for that as well. For other fillings, I've got some shredded cheddar cheese. This I shredded myself rather than buy it already shredded in the store. It often has starchy, anti-caking ingredients in it, so to avoid that, I just do it myself. I've got some chopped onion, some diced red bell pepper, some chopped spinach. This will be colorful and delicious in my burrito. I've also got some tomatilla salsa from my garden that I make every year. No recipe link for that, but this year when I get tomatillas, I promise to do one. To make the fluffiest eggs, you may be wondering why I'm standing at the sink. I'm actually going to add a little bit of water to this. I don't really measure it. I give it a little jolt of water. It's probably half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. And then I beat my eggs. Eggs actually lose a little moisture while they sit in your refrigerator in the box. And now our eggs will be lovely and moist and fluffy. I'm going to start off by frying up a couple of tablespoons of our diced onion in some ghee. You can use whatever fat you like in a preheated skillet. I'm also going to add in some bell pepper. Remember, we're only making this for two people, so we don't need a lot. I'm going to let this fry up for a couple of minutes before I add in the spinach. Now our onions are translucent and our bell peppers softened up a little bit. We're going to add in the spinach. I know it looks like a lot right now, but it won't in just a second. I'm going to add just a small pinch of salt to that. helps it stay green in here, just so I don't throw it out of the skillet. I'm going to use a spatula to stir it around. This will just take a minute. We're going to wilt the spinach, and then we'll move on. It's about a minute later. Now I'm going to add in some of this taco filling. Again, remember we're only making four small burritos, and we're not going to add that much in. Just stir that around and get that warmed up. And while we're waiting for that to heat up a little bit, here we've got our eggs, remember. We're going to add a little bit of kosher salt to them, as well as some freshly ground black pepper, which I'll do right over here handy. <laughs> Give that a good stir. And then on in our skillet it goes. We're going to just leave that there for a moment so it can begin to cook. I want my egg to be pretty separate from the rest of the filling. Try not to over stir it. Isn't that pretty like that? And there we are. It's done already. You might want to start by softening up your tortilla for 10 or 15 seconds in the microwave. Next, what I do is I like to put my cheese in next, like that. Then a little salsa, my homemade tomatillo salsa I just love. And next, we're going to place in some of our hot filling. Just like that, that might be a little more than we want, maybe just a little bit less. There we go. Great, and now all we have to do is fold it up. This is gonna be a nice fat little burrito, but we want it to have some substance here. There we go. Fold it right on up. And there you have a beautiful keto breakfast burrito. Well, all right, let's give this a try. I think it looks pretty tasty. This is really fun to make, too. Mmm. 
Oh, yeah. Just delicious. Arrival of any fast food breakfast burrito, if you ask me. When you have everything ready to go, it's really quick to make, it's really delicious, really wholesome, and totally keto. Listen, thanks so much for watching us here today at Tim Talks Cooking. Before you go, though, tell you what. Would you please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and it also helps you find my videos. Especially if you click on that notifications bell, you'll be notified every time I upload videos, which is a couple of times a week usually. Thanks again for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking. We'll catch you next time.